So the creative Contessa is back in the land of the morning calm. And today we're gonna to go take a hike on Mount Soyosan. So come along. I'm standing right outside of a Korean War Memorial, not to American support, but to Belgian and Luxembourger support during the uh, Korean War, which was actually, as many of you may not know, a United Nations action, the first official one, I think. So yeah, little, little gem here up out the end of the one line and Soyosan. I'm not probably completely backlit, but um, I wanted to point out the neat path surface that Koreans tend to use on their trails. It's this woven rope matting that provides grip, but is also really nice and cushy on the feet. So one of my favorite features of Korean hiking trails. Much less chance of tripping on this than just random roots and whatnot. So let's go, so Yosana waits. Koreans are really great on infrastructure, especially for tourist, touristic activities. And that's what it's word. Anyway, um, one of the things you'll find on hiking trails is actually picnic eating areas that are covered. And you can tell this is actually intended for sitting because this is, the idea is you take your shoes off and you hold your legs up Indian style. And I'm not going to take my shoes off, so I'm not going to put my feet on it. Um, yeah, so if you're, you know, you know, if you're going hiking in Korea, you're going to have facilities to make your hike a more pleasant experience. Okay, onward. actually on the right path and we didn't actually enter in the right spot apparently and we were kind of starting to despair about ever finding the right path but keep going and round a corner and here we are back up with what is officially part of the Soyosan hiking complex so let's get on the right trail now which is hopefully much less scary than the last set of trails which we just um, which we just risked our lives let's go Another fun feature of Korean mountain hiking trails is that they put outdoor workout facilities kind of close to the top so that you can warm up by climbing it, do some good strength training and total body workout, and then I suppose you cool down by falling down the hill because you're too tired to actually utilize your legs in any useful manner. Yeah. Um, today there's no one here, but in the past when I've encountered such facilities, they're usually full of mostly retirees. I will admit, I've never seen any people under the age of 60 using these, these outdoor workout parks, but still. Nice feature, nice way to empower your population to actually be physically fit, no matter their socioeconomic circumstances. Okay, soapbox off, we're hiking. And welcome to Korea, where you take the stairs up the mountain. We've reached the saddle of this crest at any rate. 
And there's these beautiful signs and I can read them because I can read Korean. But unfortunately, being able to sound out the syllables does not give me or connote any actual understanding. So we're following the sign that says Jongsang. I don't know what that means. We'll look it up when we get home and we'll uh, maybe put it here to let you know what each of these signs mean. Onward! When you're hiking through Korean hills or mountains, no doubt you're going to encounter these little hillocks, which are graves, in fact, traditional graves. It's a hill burial is actually a tradition that dates back thousands of years in Korea, and you can see some pretty massive examples in other places like Gyeongju. Um, but trails just go by these. Just be respectful, admire the beauty. Um, this one actually doesn't have grass on it yet, so maybe it's kind of new. But don't, don't worry about walking past them because literally there's just not enough hill space in Korea for everyone to have a private cemetery. So, yeah. so there's something beautiful and haunting about being buried in your own little mini pyramid in the mountains overlooking the river valley.
Well, now that we're at the top, I'm going to eat breakfast. Yes, it's 2 p.m. and I'm eating breakfast now. That's how I roll. So I'm going to eat this lovely emergency kimbap that I bought from the CU convenience store outside of the train station. Remember, kimbap is the perfect hiking food. And also, water. Don't forget to take all trash with you. Don't leave anything behind. Keep the site nice and pristine. So I'm going to enjoy this amazing view on my breakfast. So we thought the video was over. It's not. Our adventure's not over because on the descent, we uh, somehow managed to get off of the path. And so we've been scrabbling across this loose gravel, slippery leaf slope, risking our lives to try to get back to the actual path. So travel adventures continue. Every step feels like I'm gonna go tumbling down the hill and impale myself on a dead tree or something. Yay. So here's a proper traditional uh, picnic pavilion hut. I love these solid wood beams. Those are basically just tree trunks <laughs> with the traditional style roof. And this is where you should, if you ever see one of these, take your shoes off to get in them. And yes, it's floor seating. You're just supposed to sit Indian style on it. That's why you shouldn't wear your shoes on it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this hike. Don't forget to like and subscribe and support me on Patreon if you really want to see more such content. Otherwise, travel creative and stay tuned for your moment of Kitty's End.